Hey y'all, good morning. It's Nani here. Um, today I'm going to do a video about the island setup for Mysterious Pyramid. Okay, first of all, um, supplies. So this right here at the top um, on the left, this will be the initial setup supplies. And you're going to need a ton, ton, ton of torches for this um, all the time. Um, a little bit later on, these are the things you're going to need for crafting artifacts you need to use in your missions. But to get the island set up, it's this one right here. All right, so the initial quest, and it's Matt Hardy. I love Matt Hardy. Um, get to the archaeologist's tent. And here you go. He's right over here. Um, you can see it's protected by a mummy. A um, little later on, once your setup gets going, um, you'll be able to access this tent and um, see what the shop is in there. Um, anyway, you got to get around here and get over there. Pretty easy peasy. All right, here's a map mostly cleared off. Um, so here's the archaeologist tent, and you're going to be working on this side of the island first. Uh, here's a look at what the main quest is going to look like, and there is a pet on that island. All right, so the first two main quest is you're going to want to get to a sarcophagus, and then you're going to collect these little things that, when they're in the ground, they look like flip-flops to me. All righty, see how they look like flip-flops or sandals or something? Um, they're all circled in black. Your sarcophagus is right here. And you are also going to need to get back here to this little blue thing, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, okay, this is get six talisman pieces from the ancient walls. And that's that little blue thing I just pointed out to you. It's going to be a flip game, and you're going to need torches to do this. All right, there you go. You need one torch for a flip. You, bet you just start crafting your torches now. It takes a ton, ton, ton of torches to set up the island to um, get the things you, you need from these six places, these, this uh, ancient wall. And also inside all of the uh, mission islands are also going to need torches. So just craft them like crazy. Here is what the flip game looks like in your after this. It's pretty easy. Um, pretty easy peasy. Only six spots here. Um, but... Uh, six flips okay so you can see that there's no access once you get all this done there's no access to get through this gate right here you have to win this flip game to get that gate open all right the next quest is to restore two ruined walls and um, that's what the supplies are going to be needed for so and and you're going to get one of those as a reward too but this will turn into an area where you do a flip game once it is restored both of those and then the other two you're going to be collecting these little amphorae or whatever and uh, you're going to get the little brushes and then uh, clear off the other two walls for that all right so here's the map there are the walls circled in red this one needs to be repaired this one needs to be repaired and then you're going to need the amphorae and brushes to do these two here and there they are circled which you need to get to torches lots of them okay you're going to be prompted to do an excavation and that is sifting in these pits um, takes almost two days for that and then you will get a chest all right there are the four pits um, on I mostly just have used this maybe once or twice um, initially it may be helpful because you're going to be getting raw amulets that you're going to need for crafting and you can get those out of those pits it's just kind of pricey these three back here um, you have to battle a snake do we yeah there is a little snake right there you have to battle a snake to get to those three but this one will be open there is a little info on the snake and spears are needed and just FYI when you're going into those missions there will be snakes on every one of those mission islands so um, if you need to purchase your spears that's what you need for that 
Um, you can use the florins to purchase them in your shop if you do not have any. Um, you can uh, click on it anyway on your snake and it'll prompt the mini mart will uh, pop up for you to purchase them with diamonds. Okay, so um, on one of my mini islands, you can see I haven't done much of anything. I did sift here um, and there is a chest, so I'll go ahead and open it. And you can see I got two of those little raw amulets. I can't, until I get through the quest, I can't uh, click on anything, but I can show you on the other account what you're going to be needing those for. All right, here we go. Here's the old dude, Lewis Wilson. He just is everywhere lately. When you click on him, you need these raw amulets to craft these artifacts that you need. So you saw I only got two. The better way to get those is off of Mission Islands. Um, you, you get way more on the Mission Islands. And there's a look at that shop. And you need them for this too. And, and uh, this is what you need the other things for. Um, let's see. This right here is what you're getting from the flip game. And, and the reason you need that is because you got to craft these things to actually enter your pyramid over here to take a mission. So initially you may need to do this a few times to um, get a few to get going, but I really don't use that much. It's just 5,000 coins for that is just way too much, way too pricey. I'd rather do a mission. All right, initially on your island as you're clearing, there will be a lot of treasure and you'll see these jugs and those have the raw um, amulet in there and it's the same jugs you're gonna run into on your mission islands. Um, ton of these jugs on all the mission islands if you are in need of raw amulets. Okay, once you get through all those quests I have just shown you, then you are going to get this quest right here, which is to take a mission. This is not actually the screenshot of the quest, but what, what happens when you click on the pyramid. Okay, I totally can't find my um, my quest to take a mission. But anyway, you will get a quest to take a mission, and then you just click on the pyramid, and this is how you enter one torch and one of these talisman that are crafted down here with Lewis Wilson. So the key to getting through is to make sure that you have enough supplies. I mean getting through the actual mission once you enter. Okay, so this list is the bare minimum of what you want to take. I never ever take the bare minimum, especially when it comes to torches. Um, some of the torches that you'll need inside some of those missions will be for flip games. And if you miss the match, then you are going to need another torch. So um, never go in with less than nine. I always take about 20. I take more than I need of everything. Um, uh, a couple of the islands have fishing on them. Your best bet is to use a blue or better lure for that. Um, and you want to have the, the highest amount of energy for the um, hardest map is 1500. So I always have at least 1500 energy, bare minimum this stuff, though I, I advise everybody never go in with the bare minimum. Always take more than you think you're going to need. Okay, so why are we doing all this? Um, okay, first of all, this is the cat reward. You're going to get that cat. Let me show you the cat real quick. All right, the cat. Um, it's going to have this cute little house. It's a little black cat. So before the upgrade, so it's, it's two upgrades. Before that, you have to give it one energy, and it's going to give you a bunch of raw amulets, EXP, and coins. Then once you upgrade it, you can get, um, let's see, EXP coins, some energy, 30 to 60 raw amulets, diamonds, yeah, 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 and a gold fishing lure for the first upgrade. Second upgrade, um, you get about twice that much, but you can also get a solar butterfly nectar um, and also pharaoh's torches, pyramids, and sands of time to get through your missions. Um, those are the same things that Lewis Wilson will make for you. Clicking on him again so you can see it. I mean, it takes cotton cloth, glass, the lens. So um, if you want to, if you want to do it by upgrading your cat so that you you can get these things without having to 
take all those supplies. Um, some people do do that. Okay, I lost track of what I was doing. Um, okay, so we're back in the shop again right here. So this is what you need to upgrade the cat, and you see you need to have the Pharaoh's ink for that. And that's what this um, this shiny red and blue one is, the Pharaoh's ink. And the other things you can get are right here. But in addition to that, um, Pharaoh's ink, Pharaoh's ink, all the way to there. Then you move over to the regular ink, and here's the Egyptian fountain. And this is the other reason people like to do this island. This works like the grotto and refills your strength. Okay, here are just some samples from upgrading the fountain once you have it. It takes a pharaoh's ink, and I'm going to tell you in a second where to get the pharaoh's ink and the regular ink. Um, but this is what it takes one, and then when you get over to level four, you're going to need two, and then by the time you get up to around level 11, you're going to need five. And you're going to get these from doing missions. Just a thing about upgrading that, here's a list. I believe Carol Cotton made this list. Thank you, Carol. Um, I hope you're the one that did. I, I think you are. The thing with this fountain, unlike the grotto, is as you level up, not only does it increase its capacity, but it reduces the recharge rate. So um, the grotto does not do that. The rate is what it is um, for recharging. I really like that this, um, as you level it up, it holds more and takes less time to refill, so that is super duper. Okay, the inks. Um, where you get them? You get them from completing missions in the pyramid, and you're always going to get the regular ink off of the actual mission. Um, so as you're completing your missions, you'll see this number go up, and then um, I've noticed about every fourth or fifth mission that you do you're going to get the trader genie pop up and that is the only way or that is one of two ways to get the pharaoh's ink um, and you're going to need to have regular inks to purchase the pharaoh's ink um, from the trader genie um, let's see the way to, that he pops up is you have to beat the ser serpent king at the end and i want to point out that he doesn't pop up just like this this is what he's looking like. Initially, it's just going to be like this part down here, a little wispy, whirly part right there, and you actually have to um, click on that to get him to pop up. At that time, you can trade in with him for your Pharaoh's inks. All right, the only other place to get those things is from the competition, and you're going to get, I think, uh, every Wednesday and Friday. So twice a week, there is a competition, and it's a real short comp also. All right, and here's a look at what is inside each of the chests, and you can see that if you get the number one position, Pharaoh's Ink times 12, second place is times six, third place is times three. Um, if you hit positions four through ten, you're going to get some of the artifacts that you need for working through your missions and then if anything from 11 down to 100 what you're getting is raw amulets for that okay so that's about it that's where you get the the uh, angst from doing lots and lots of missions and i really enjoy those missions um so let's just flip through again the rest of the oh look at the water lilies the rest of the shop so you can see what is in there there you go and down to the end. Oh, if you want to purchase these using your florins instead of doing the flip game on this island, um, you can do that instead. All right, let's, whoa, okay. Lewis Wilson, you can only have six of these at a time in here. And, uh, sorry, got distracted. Let's see. This is what the flip game looks like down here. I can do one real quick. Oh, look, I'm going to get everything. Flip. So that's where you get those things to craft the little entry talisman. And this timer is 10 hours to come back and do that. Then just click on here and open up. 
and oop, it wants the fruit and I do not have any. So you're okay to go back to your home island and get the things you need before entering. Don't enter without this stuff because uh, you'll surely fail if you don't have what you need. And again, that is the minimum of what I would enter and so I need to go back. So this is an or or an or. I can take 15 mango, 15 papaya, or banana chips. Um, so you don't need 15 plus 15 plus 6, you just need to choose one of these for that particular quest. Um, okay, so I have done other videos, I believe, on the Mission Islands. I'm going to um, update that, I think, and do it again. But I will put the videos that I do have, links to those, in the top comment so that you can get a quick access. You can also go just go to the playlist for Mysterious Pyramid and find everything that you need there regarding the missions. All right, one more time looking at the map and the places you need to get to. And that is it for the setup for Mysterious Pyramid. So don't forget to um, either check the playlist for Mysterious Pyramid or click on the links in the comment below. Please don't forget to hit the like button and share my videos around. Thank you so much. I will be back with you, I think, tomorrow for the start of a festival. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much.